What happened to you as a child that you realized was creepy at older age? My uncle did this to me once, made a big deal about it at a family party, and I was mortified and disgusted with him. Another time, different uncles did this to my friend at my 16th birthday party. My friend was mortified and I moved shortly after and needless to say, we fell out of touch. My uncles are pigs. When I was 12 my second cousin who was 16 to 17 thought I was really attractive and tried to make out with me. Although I recognized at the time it wasn't the best thing to do and didn't, I didn't realize until a few years later that man that was questionable. 46 female who what's been blessed with a large chest. In elementary school my basketball coaches and teachers used to always comment on my chest size. Throwaway account here. I was a young teenager preteen and I participated in an acting class that was offered at the local theater. They hosted this slumber party stay up as late as you can lock in thing for all the students. They had a few of the theater staff there as chaperones. At one point me and a couple of the chaperones were talking about how it would be fun to prank some of the other kids who were messing around on the stage. The idea was to have me sneak up onto the overhead area above the stage and lie very still and one of the guys would suddenly turn the spotlight on and reveal the corpse to scare everyone. Then one of the chaperones who was planning it started talking about how awesome it would be if it was just my feet showing, and then someone dragged me back out of view. He kept going on and on about the feet thing. The other chaperones kinda checked out of the conversation, and the plan never materialized. I didn't think much of it. The next morning that same chaperone offered me a ride home, and I was like sure, cool. He wanted to stop at his place first to practice the scary scene. We went inside, and he turned down the lights. He told me to lie down on the floor, and he slowly took off my shoes and socks. He rubbed his hands over my feet for several minutes. Me, being oblivious to how fucking creepy this was, actually just relaxed while pretending to be dead and almost fell asleep. When he finished I put my shoes back on and he drove me home. I never told anyone about it. I don't know if it was a sexual thing for him or not. Maybe some sort of pedophile foot fetish thing. It is so damned creepy to remember I cringed so hard while writing this. Yeet 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 this subreddit was big, but now it's not yeet yeet yeet. When I was around 7 or 8 we lived in a trailer pretty secluded from the other houses besides one neighbor. We, my sister my two cousins who lived there at the time and I, were friends with the boy who lived in the neighboring house and would invite him over sometimes. I noticed that the man who he lived with, his stepdad, would sometimes watch me and my sister play from his porch. M the neighbor boy was a little strange, he always seemed very sad and spoke in a completely monotone voice, not really related but something I noticed. One day I was out back alone even though we weren't allowed to be out back, because the grass was high and snakes were abundant in the place we lived. Neighbor's stepdad or approaches the fence that separates our yards and starts talking to me about stuff I can't remember then tells me how much prettier I am than my sister, and my cousins then invites me to help him find his kittens. I tell him that I would help because I love kittens, but I would have to ask my parents first because they would be mad if I left without telling them. He tries to convince me not to tell them because he needs help now, but I eventually go and ask. After that my parents wouldn't let me leave the house for the next couple of days and told me I wasn't allowed to play with them or speak to her again. I brought it up to my mom a while ago because it finally registered in my head that that was creepy and she told me about how creepy R always was and how terrifying it was for her. I was 8 at the time and was being fetched by the bus for school. The driver made me sit in the front beside him. Our school bus was similar to an L300 I think. I didn't know it at the time, but he was watching porn on his phone while driving. He would make me watch it, but I had a bad feeling about what it is so I didn't. I kept on turning away, and he kept on grabbing my jaw to look at it. He was touching my legs a lot so I keep pinching him. He did that until we reached my school. I almost grabbed the wheel to crash the car and kill him, but kids were in the back and I didn't want to be in jail. Never told my parents. Also happened to another friend of mine. 
Her experience was worse. When I was around 9 years, my sister, who was 6 at the time, and I went out to get some groceries in the shop not even 100 meters away from our home. Our mom let us go BC we always asked ourselves to go to the shop BC, we liked going there, and we live in a very small village which is considered to be a very safe neighborhood. So as we were walking back home a man in a white car stops right next to us, asking us where the local football pitch was. I told him where it was and that it was impossible to miss once he got there, you could literally see it when driving past it. But when we were done explaining this, he asked if we wanted to get in his car and ride along with him to the pitch. So we told him no and explained the route again. He kept insisting to get in his car so we could explain it better, but kept telling him no. After two minutes he eventually got out of his car to come open the door for us. But we were already heading home, which was maybe 20 meters from where we were talking to this man. He started following us again, but when he noticed my dad standing outside our house he immediately took off. Didn't really think anything of it at that time, but when I told this story to a friend a couple years ago I finally realized how creepy this actually was. Guess I was lucky my house was so near and my dad was outside at the time we arrived home. Sorry that I'm a little late to this, but here we go. P.S. Sorry if this isn't so dramatic as other stories on this questions. When I was 12 I traveled to visit family in another province. I go each summer by myself so for two weeks it was just me and my aunt and uncle. Of course, since I go in the middle of summer, just before August, it was pretty hot. Due to that I was wearing very short denim shorts. I wouldn't say that I have a nice body, but then I had a kinda big but in white hips. Oh by the way I should mention that I'm a girl. Now that I'm done with the background info, I'll get on with the story. So this one day in early August, my aunt and I had gone for a trip to get groceries at Walmart. When we entered, there was a man near the entrance who I noticed had looked at me. No big deal. I mean this in the nicest way possible, but this man looked like he had some sort of mental disability. I'm not going to describe it because if I did it would sound mean, but I'm sure you know the type. Due to familial reasons, I'm very sympathetic empathetic or people who have any sort of mental disability. My aunt and I were almost do shopping when I noticed that the man who I was earlier by the entrance was behind me. Of course, I may be a little too empathetic, so I immediately tried to see if I could help him in any way. Don't remember this that clearly, but he said something along the lines of I like your shorts, I accepted the compliment, but before I could do much he reached over and started rubbing my hip. I think a better word would be caressing. He continued doing this for approximately a minute. I suppose I may have been paralyzed by fear, if not, I was just once again, being too empathetic of mentally disabled people. But that's why I just let it happen. I was too scared to tell anyone what had happened so I didn't tell anyway, until a couple weeks ago when I was with my friend and I suddenly remembered what had happened. I hadn't thought it was that weird until I had saw her reaction to that story. Fun fact. It was that same trip to Walmart that I had found out I was a lesbian. I once accidentally called a prostitute by punching in the wrong number to call my friend. Yeah, 